Croatia. Each region has its own delicious specialties and traditions dating back centuries. From smoked sausages and dry cured hams to seafood soups and stews, from grilled meats and sauerkraut to gourmet cheeses, exquisite truffles and glorious olive oil. Pasta, savory pies, dumplings and enticing desserts of every kind. Fresh coffee, local beers, spirits and the wines. There are more than 300 geographically defined wine producing areas in Croatia, some of which are showcased at our pavilion. There's something to delight every palate, and we are happy to share with friends. Discover Croatia. Enjoy. Dobar tek. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Kerasaga, and welcome to Pavilion Croatia. Dobro nam došli. We just saw a little about the culinary delights of Croatia, which we are very happy to share with our friends. In our cooking segment, we will be featuring one of our favorite traditional Croatian desserts, Međimurska Givanica layer cake from Croatia's northernmost county, Međimurje. This special treat consists of thinly stretched puff pastry, especially prepared for the Gibarica, and contains an amazing combination of four fillings, which complement each other perfectly in texture and flavor. So, can you tell us a little bit about those fillings? Absolutely. There's fresh cheese, grated apples, ground walnuts, and ground poppy seeds. Sounds delicious. Let's get started. Just to say, in the interest of time, Sonia has already pre-made the dough, which is a puff pastry that's stretched perfectly thin, and we would use that typically in strudels. Uh, we'll provide a recipe for that, of course, in our segment. Or, uh, it's perfectly okay to simply use, what would you suggest? Table pastry at any grocery store, absolutely. So, it, it's, it's quite effective, but maybe not quite the same as homemade, yeah, but it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Absolutely. So, we're starting with layer one, which is the... Poppy seeds. The poppy seed layer. So, while Sonia prepares this layer, what she's doing is taking the... creating the poppy seed mixture. She's mixing the ground poppy seeds. She's going to be adding the sugar and vanilla. Onto which she's going to pour hot milk. And she's going to whisk that until it's incorporated. And she's also going to fold in a lightly heated egg whites. Moving on to layer two, which is the a cheese the filling. Cheese filling. What Sonia is going to do now is making the cheese mixture where she's mixing eggs, sugar, vanilla, lemon zest, and then she'll fold in the fresh cheese. This mixture is done, we set it aside and we'll move on to the next. And Sonia, now we're at layer number three, which is the walnut, the layer. walnut layer. So what Sonia is going to be doing now is making the walnut mixture where we have ground walnuts and sugar. And then she will pour hot milk and add just a little bit of spiced Croatian rum. And now we're on to the fourth and final layer, which is the apple layer. The apple layer. So what Sonia is going to be doing is mixing grated apples, sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of vanilla. And Sonia, what's the trick with the squeezing of the liquid from the apples? How, how much do you need to squeeze? Just enough to get the basic liquid out. Nothing too serious. Not too soggy, but not too much. Exactly. Perfect. So while Sonia mixes that, we'll set that aside. Here comes the fun part, which is the assembling of the layers. So what Sonia is doing now is putting in three sheets of the fievo dough into a greased nine-inch round. Or I guess, Sonia, could you use... Nine by 13. Nine by 13 as well. Oh, I forgot something. Preheat the oven to yes. 350 at this point. Three sheets of fievo dough go in, and she is brushing some butter into there. First layer, poppy seed. Now we're going to add two more sheets of the filo dough, carefully. And of course, brushing on more butter. Getting ready for our next layer of filling, which is the cheese. Spread that evenly on top of the filo. We're going to add two more layers of the filo dough. 
a little sticky sometimes. It does. <laughs> brush on a little butter. Third comes the walnut mixture. My favorite mixture, Junior. The best. Spread that evenly as well. Add another two layers of the phyllo dough. comes our final layer, the apples. It's quite a high cake, isn't it? It is. And it'll look very pretty once it is removed from the oven and, and cut, cut up. up. Yep, you see the layers. Yep. Everyone, thank you for joining us. This has been our visit with Croatia Pavilion. This is our Međimurska Gibanica. Happy baking. We look forward to seeing you soon at Pavilion Croatia.